Hey guys, my name is Kent and you're watching Dia Graphics. Today I want to show you how to cut out an object from its background using Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop there's a lot of different ways to do everything, including cutting out objects. So for this video I have taken a photo of this cup, which is a very simple shape. So because it's a very simple shape, I want to show you the basic techniques you'll use if you're a beginner in Photoshop. I will be doing some more advanced cutouts in future videos. As I said, there's a lot of different ways to cut out an object, so today I will be focusing on the quick selection tool, the lasso tool and the pen tool right here. So which tool do you want to use? It really depends on how detailed your object is. As you can see right here, my object is a very simple one, so I will most likely be able to cut this out using what I call the lazy tools. And the lazy tools is the quick selection tool, magic wand and this magnetic lasso tool. And now I want to show you how to use these. So the first tip I want to give you is don't use magic wand tool. For the most cases it just does a terrible job and you'll end up spending more time adjusting your selection than you have to. I know a lot of beginners use the magic wand tool, but do yourself a favor and use the quick selection tool instead. It does kinda like the same thing, but works a little different. So the quick selection tool is perfect when you have an object that is very contrasty. So as you can see this white cup is very well separated from this black background. And this will make it perfect for the quick selection tool. So I will just pick the quick selection tool right here. And then I just want to click and hold the mouse button. And as you can see I paint all this and it does a very decent job. And you could just go with this selection if you want. Another way is to use the magnetic lasso tool. And this again works if you have an object with a lot of contrast. So if you just zoom in a little bit and pick this magnetic lasso tool, then I just click here and I just drag it without clicking. And as you can see, it follows this cup. And when your cursor leaves the screen area, you can just click and hold down the space bar and just click with your mouse and drag it. And then you can just continue up here. And as you can see right here, it does not do a perfect job. So if you just click backspace, you can delete these points. And instead of just dragging it, I will click manually right here. Then again, click the space bar, drag it down. And as you can see, this does a decent job too. It will never be perfect when you do it like this with the lazy tools. So if you want a perfect cutout, you want to use the pen tool as I want to show you right now. I will just deselect this selection, control D, and then I zoom in, because when you use the pen tool you want to be very precise, so you have to zoom in a lot, like this. Choose this pen tool, and you just want to click like this, and then you want to click and hold down the mouse button, and just drag it so this one fits approximately. Then you just do this again, hold down the mouse button and click and drag. Then use the space bar to move around, and then click and drag. And then we just do this all the way around. A nice tip for cutting out very simple objects is don't follow this edge exactly. Just cut out a little bit of the object. No one will ever know that you did that. But then you don't risk getting the background inside your selection. When you're done cutting out, you can just right click and make selection right here. This feather radius adjusts how blurry you want the edges to be. So for most cases you can just click one or two pixels. I'll just select one and that's your selection. So let's say you did something wrong and you want your selection adjusted. So how do you do this? So if you want to subtract this corner, we can just click and just select this corner until we have this path. Then we can just right click again and make selection. And instead of just clicking OK here for a new selection, we want to add or subtract from selection. So if we want to deselect this corner, we can just subtract from selection and click OK. And now it will subtract this corner from this selection. And we do the same thing if we want to select it again. So I will just quickly draw this. Whoops. Right here. You want to match it to the corners here. And then you can just go inside here click this circle button, then you can just right click, make selection and say add to selection. So now we got this corner again. And you can do this with any tool, you can also just pick the lasso tool 
and just hold down the alt key and you can see this minus pop up and then you can just drag and click and you can also just hold down the shift key to get this plus and you can add to selection you can do this with any tool both the lasso tool the the quick selection tool and every kind of selection tool so right now you have a selection and you can just go down here in the bottom and click this add layer mask and now i got your objects without a background so if you want to save this with a transparent background you go to file go to save as then choose png if you want a small file size you can also just save it directly as the photoshop psd this also has the layers and the transparent background you can also choose TIFF, which also has the layers and the transparent background, but it's also a very large file size. So if you just want to send it to a friend or use it for something later, you can just choose PNG and that will be fine. If you want to add another background, you can either just create a new layer and then just paint this one, some color, or you can just go to file and go to place and then just find an image you want and then put it below this layer. So that's how we cut out an object in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.